Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up an ASIC crypto mining rig. Boom, cool guys slide. Specifically, we're gonna be dealing with a gold shell miner. They are an ASIC manufacturer. And ASIC is an application specific integrated circuit miner. It's a purpose built machine. And all it does is mine cryptocurrencies, specifically one cryptocurrency algorithm. When you really start digging into ASIC miners, you'll see a lot of different devices like Bitmain, Amp miners, and InnoSilicon miners, and a bunch of other crazy ones. You know what, actually, how about I show you a couple to kick this off? If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. Most ASIC miners, you know, are silver boxes. But this is a super cool one that we collaborated with Gold Show on. You know, shameless plug on that, I'll link it out below, but this video is not to sell you miners, it's just a tutorial. And actually, these are sold out, but there's a new batch coming soon, so by the time I post this, they might be back in stock, or not, I don't know. But again, I'm not here to sell you stuff, I'm here to show you stuff, but it wasn't that. So other than the super cool design on this, right? I'm not gonna just glaze over that. You'll see connections on these devices. This is a box miner. It's basically a mini miner. It has one power connection, one ethernet, or basically internet connection. And this other stuff doesn't really matter for normal use. But that's, a card, that's an SD card, so if you need to do basically a software reset on the device, not common, but just so you know what that is, then you have a button up here normally associated with IP finders. And so that's a good point, let's talk about that. Who's on my Wi-Fi? That's an app, and there's other devices, or you can simply just log into your router. The fact of the matter is that you need to find out what the IP address is for this device after you plug it in and turn it on because you log into these remotely and control them remotely. That means you can even do it from your phone. You don't even have to have a computer to be mining these days. Normally I just log in from my desktop computer because that's easier, but you don't have to. We'll talk more about that later though. Let's focus on the device. We've got fans, okay? And then we have inside, you'll notice, or here's just a glimpse inside of this actual device, hash boards. So the hash board is basically, you know, the, the bronze here, it does the work and the fans need to be blowing to make sure that it's cool. Most devices can run in really hot environments. I mine out of my garage, airflow is barely adequate. It's frequently 100 degrees Fahrenheit in there. No problem, miners keep hashing away. Some miners come with power supplies, some don't. This is basically a brick power supply It powers this mini miner, but most ASIC miners have bigger power supplies. Some of the most common are the ant miner power supplies, APW7s, APW3s, they look like this, and they have a bunch of PCIe connections because basically the bigger your ASIC miner is, the more boards you need to power, and the more juice that needs to be supplied to power all of those. It's not just connections, it's also output. Make sure that your power supply always has enough power capabilities to power your device, otherwise you pose a risk to yourself, and even more importantly, you're gonna reduce your hash rate, which basically is what your mining profitability or how you earn passive income with these, it'll be reduced. So you wanna maximize your gains with a proper setup. This is good enough to power this. And so I'll walk through that. Honestly, it's so easy, watch this. That's it. You do have to plug it into the wall though, and most of these are Chinese companies or similar and oftentimes they send the worst looking plugs you've ever seen. If that's the case, you just need to get a plug. So I actually have a whole video walking you through how to set up electricity to build a mini mining farm in your house. But some of the quick takeaways for a small operation is one, just to get the right plug. If you wanna plug it into just an outlet in your wall, you're gonna want a NEMA 15 plug. It's like a standard computer power supply plug. 
but make sure that it can handle the amp draw, okay? So for example, this does five amps max, so I would just buy a 10 amp power cord, but if this did 10 amps max, normally they just simply tell you on the device or on the specs, I would buy a 15 amp power cord. You always wanna have more and look up what the 80% rule is with electricity. Basically, you just don't wanna exceed 80% usage. So if it says you can do 10, you should really only do eight. If it says you can do 20, you shouldn't really do more than 16 amps. There's a lot of different ways to get internet to your device. So you can just plug it in by a router, right? And then plug an ethernet cord in. Or you can get a 100 foot ethernet cord, run it across your house and plug it in, you got ethernet. You could get what's called a power line adapter, which is what I run in my house. Basically, I plug one in next to my router and I plug one in anywhere else in the house. And it carries, it's pretty crazy tech. It carries your internet through your power lines. And then you just plug an ethernet cord in at both of those devices. You can see the one in my garage and boom, I've got internet. Where well, you're like, but what if I need more ethernet connections? Great question. All you need is an ethernet switch. They're readily available on Amazon. You get a bunch of inputs for like 20 bucks or less. Or you can find one at common places like Walmart and Best Buy. You can use repeaters or other devices to get internet throughout your house. Basically, you just need an ethernet connection. Most ASIC miners, especially, do not operate off of Wi-Fi. And that's okay. Honestly, you get way better uh, reliability off an ethernet cable and you have less Wi-Fi interference throughout your house. So at this point, you understand the basics of what the device is, getting power to it, getting ethernet to it or internet to it. And all that's left is just simply setting the device up. So this is gonna be a little bit of a shameless plug, right? So I have an affiliate link with crypto.com. It's an app available almost everywhere in the US and throughout the world. I'm not talking about the web exchange, just the app version. You get 25 bucks for free if you use the code Voscoin. Why do I bring it up? Because it's an app to trade cryptocurrencies. You can cash them out into dollars. You can turn dollars into crypto, but more importantly, they support a lot of coins, a lot of mineable coins. And I mine right into the app. You should technically set up a wallet, mine to a wallet that you hold the keys for on your computer and whatever else. Yeah, that's true. But I like to have my coins available. I like to trade them if I want to or cash them out if I want to. And I use the crypto earn feature to earn interest on my coins. I specifically bring this up though, because the mini Doge miner, right? It merge mines Litecoin and Dogecoin, two of the biggest cryptocurrencies ever. And Dogecoin has proven to be a wildly profitable investment over the last year. But again, I bring this up because you can mine both of those coins right into crypto.com. And you can even earn interest on them or cash them out or trade them for other current cryptocurrencies if you want to. That is not just a plug for like the little affiliate referral link, but it's also a serious part of this tutorial is where do you mine your coins to? You need a wallet. You have to set up a wallet somewhere yourself. You can go to Litecoin or Dogecoin's official website, download their official wallets, or you can just say, make a Coinbase account and mine your coins directly into there. You can cash them out. Like I'm saying, you can use a cryptocurrency exchange like the crypto.com we talked about, or you know something a little bit more common, maybe like Coinbase, but less lucrative. Or you can just hold the coins in your own wallet. It's totally up to you, but please understand, like you've got to do that part. These coins that you might have to have somewhere to go. So before I go into the software setup, and trust me, these are almost all exactly the same, understand the noise factor and look these up before you buy them. For example, some ASIC miners, like especially Bitcoin miners, like the 1246 we had by Avalon, and a lot of the AMP miners by Bitmain are insanely loud, okay? Even the bigger gold shell miners, the full size ones, you know, like this big, they're super loud. That's because they're consuming more electricity which means they're putting out more heat, which means they need more and bigger fans to keep themselves cool. But by doing all that, they earn more money. But again, they have a higher electric bill. Any way you cut it, mining cryptocurrency has been one of the most profitable ventures of my life ever. I could not recommend it anymore. And above all, it's so much fun. I'm in this not just to earn passive income with cryptocurrencies, but I love the tech. Become an integral piece of your crypto network and start mining it. That's pretty cool. Have something physical, okay, here in the digital world, in the digital era, and the, di the digital sector of cryptocurrencies. I, I, I mean, I, you look, you get it, all right, fine. I love mining, it's really cool. Power, check. Internet, check. Understanding what it is, right? 
check. Wallet, check. So everything's checked off, the device is on, now we can access it, sync it to our wallet, right? And basically have it start mining to us and start actually making money. As I said earlier, you need to discover the IP address. Discover it, find it out, punch it into your browser. You'll be prompted to log in. Almost every password is either admin, admin, root, root, or gold shell is a little bit different. So you punch in the username, admin, and you enter the password, but it's 0123456789, which can throw you for a loop in the beginning when you're so accustomed to these other ones is using basic passwords. You can customize this if you want to. Technically, I should recommend that you should, but 99% of people don't, for better and worse. So you're into the device. Now we see, you know, looks good, hashboard check and whatever else. And here's the, here's the main thing right here is you click to the pool configuration. It's all about the configuration and you put in whatever mining pool you want. Some mining pools simply use a wallet address. All you do is put your wallet address in, dot, worker name. Most don't care about the password. You could literally put in anything as the password and you just have to make sure the mining pool information is correct. So that would be your stratum, your port number, basically just the URL and the correct port number right there. And it'll let you know pretty quickly if it's connected. It'll say active online, you can check your address on the mining pool and you can see the rewards start rolling in. There's also other mining pools. For example, I have mine hooked up to F2 pool, which I've had mixed results with, but it makes it really good, really easy to review my mining profitability stats here for YouTube videos. And with F2 pool, I have to create a user account. There's, and this is also the same thing if you use something like DX pool, which is rising in popularity, especially with the gold shell box miners. I'll link all this stuff out in the video description below. But I have to create a username, so I would have Voscoin dot mini doge one or you know tails edition one or you know whatever i know i know or say like um asic minor bedroom you know wherever you end up putting it not recommended to put in your bedroom maybe spare bedroom um but you know all you have to do is put your username dot worker name again the password anything one two three x then pretty much nobody cares about passwords in this era of mining um, and then you just need the correct pool address. These gold shell miners are becoming even easier that they've input a box you can just click and it fills the information in for you. One key difference here, say you're setting up an ant miner or something else, make sure you understand if you need to put the stratum plus TCP or not, because some of these miners basically do that for you and you literally just put a URL. Other ones, you have to put the stratum plus dot TCP, whatever. And if you do that incorrectly, it's not gonna work. It's one of those things you just kind of mess around with, you'll probably get it right pretty quick. If not, a little bit of trial and error will solve. And if you're still having difficulties, please join the Voscoin Discord server. We have over 20,000 incredible members and they're constantly helping people get their miners set up, earn more money, and above all, just have fun and connect with like-minded people. Crypto is global and so is our community. There's people online there any hour of the day. It's actually kind of crazy. If you're looking for another cool way to make money other than ASIC mining, then you're probably going to be looking at KavaSwap, today's video sponsor. But what is KavaSwap and everything crazy going on with their ecosystem? Well, let's break it down. So they just launched KavaSwap, a liquidity hub bridging DeFi, blockchains, and financial services. With KavaSwap, you can seamlessly trade or swap between crypto assets and guaranteed liquidity. There's three major things you can do with KavaSwap. Swap. You can seamlessly trade or swap between assets with guaranteed liquidity. Then you can supply liquidity. Turn your digital assets into productive assets by supplying them as capital to the liquidity pools used by the Autonomous Market Maker, or an AMM, when swapping between assets. But make sure you understand liquidity and impermanent loss if you jump into that party. Third thing that KavaSwap offers is to simply earn. Liquidity providers earn fees from traders and KavaSwap tokens the governance token of the KavaSwap application. They're really trying to simplify onboarding with the USDX. So that's gonna be a stable coin pairing, right? Launched on KavaSwap. TLDR with that, they're looking to be the next big thing. KavaSwap also had an audit completed by Certic. If you don't know, basically great news and adds validity and trustworthiness to their project and shows that they're willing to pay to prove that they have great solid code verified by third parties the swp token has a global listing on mexc 
which just went live. And there's a $100,000 trading competition beginning right now on CobbleSwap. But wait, there's more. You can earn hopefully up to 350 percent by supplying liquidity for the SWP slash USDX pairing or the Kava USD pairings. Yeah, they're incentivizing those liquidity providers. Learn more about all this crazy stuff with the links out in the video description below. And that's it. All you have to do is just monitor your results there on the mining pool. Again, if you put your wallet address in, normally payouts are automated. If you use, for example, F2 pool or DX pool, you need to put in a payout address. So just navigate to your account settings, go to the coin you're mining. For example, like on F2 pool, you go to LTC, you punch your Litecoin address in, then it says, oh, this is merge mine with Dogecoin. You're gonna definitely want a Doge address too. You go ahead and paste your Doge address. They're different, make sure you understand that and set it up accordingly. And then your payouts will just happen automatically like clockwork. For example, I get paid out every single day from all my mining pools. And that's really it. That's the entirety of setting up an ASIC miner start to finish. But there's one more question you may have is where do you get an ASIC miner? Okay, so both of these have sponsored the channel before or even this video, but there's a reason we work with them because they're actually not scams. 99% of ASIC selling companies, right? ASIC crypto mining companies are scams. You've been warned, that's it, you've been warned. So I recommend that you buy your miners from Compass if you can, and they offer co-location facilities so you don't even have to have the miners at your house if you don't want to. So I've got them linked out below. The next place I would recommend to buy an ASIC miner from would be Coin Mining Central. We've worked with them for a few years. Initially, honestly, I was pretty skeptical, but they've had a very good track record. This is a hard sector to even acquire gear in. Everybody wants a crypto miner right now. They're literally money printing machines. Like that's crazy to say, it's not hype, it's not marketing. I don't make any money if you go ahead and buy a miner from them, but you can use the code BOSSCOIN to save 3% on your order. I forewent you know, 3% affiliate earnings in order to distribute a discount to you guys. They've helped me procure some miners that were difficult to procure, which helped me make more unique content here on the channel. So that was, you know, how I benefited uh, from that relationship. So obviously other than ASIC mining, which is what we've talked about in this entire video, there's other forms of mining. Like if you have a gaming PC, download NiceHash, we have a tutorial video on that, and just get your stuff working for you, start earning some coins, and then start to look at mining specific GPU mined coins and CPU mined coins and set up the appropriate miner for that. There's a lot of options. Again, you know, join the server, get connected, look at the fun, profitable stuff. Um, obviously there's helium miners, which we've talked about a bunch here on the channel. I love helium mining. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy to do and it's very profitable. And it's my recommended form of mining other than ASIC mining here in 2021. I'll link out a couple resources on that, but short answer is I recommend buying the Bobcat Miner 300. It's a miner that you will get from the company and it's a great miner and it's my most profitable miner. Other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was easy to follow. I hope it clears up some questions because there's a lot of newcomers to the crypto mining space, which is, I think is super cool. But with that, a lot of like uh, new questions are like, how do I do this? How do I set this up? I, I wanna get started. Well, hopefully this functions as a full, you know, start to finish tutorial guide for you. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to improve in the future. If you have any questions that I did not cover in this video, related or not, as long as it's, you know, crypto centric, or you know, we can talk about tails too, um, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Again, please join the Voscoin Discord server. We also have our own forum, which is really cool, voscointalk.com. As always, I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one. And if you don't subscribe, we're not friends. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice. <laughs>